Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to find out how to get over your ex, stick around, because I'm gonna show you how to do just that on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life tv.com. Today is another edition of Ask Bern, where any of you amazing, beautiful women get to ask me a question about understanding men, dating, intimacy, or connecting to your soulmate, and I respond in the form of a video just for you. Today's question comes from Zappo Bottom, who asks, could you do a video on how do you stop caring about an ex liking or dating other girls? And I get it. It's very painful. You connect to a man who is your soulmate in that moment you feel, and then he breaks your heart, or you disconnect with him for some reason, and now he's connecting with somebody else, and you start feeling that tension. So I'm gonna say that I'm gonna give you five steps to clear away from that feeling of, ah, oh, this is hurting me, and into a feeling of freedom. The first one is become aware that your attachment is stopping the flow of love from entering your life. So if you really wanna get over your ex, I want you to really get the fact that not just the flow of love, but the flow of amazing things happening in your life is perpetuated by you attaching this deep level of feeling and attachment to this man. Because anytime that something's great in your life, you can always come up with that little voice in the back of your head that says, well, but what is this guy doing? And get all anxious, all worried, and really stop being present, really stop enjoying the moment. So ending the attachment is becoming fully aware that it's that attachment is stopping the flow of love and stopping the flow of amazing things, becoming more present. Become present with what you're experiencing right now and what the possibilities are. Number two is I want you to really take some time to design the kind of love destiny that you want. This is so important and so powerful. I want you to take some moments to sit down and write nonstop for, I don't know, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, everything that you want to experience, feel, and connect with in a new guy. I get it that this is a guy who has some amazing qualities. So some of the qualities that he had, you'll actually write down on the page, but not all the qualities. There's some things that this guy didn't have that you do want to experience. So I want you to have deeper hunger to get more, to experience more, to feel more, and become very clear about what you want. The more clear you are about the discrepancy between the, guy, the way this guy is and the way the guy you want is, the bigger the gap, and you can do that if you become really honest, the less attachment you'll feel when he's connecting somebody else. Number three is step away from his inner circle. And what I mean by that is, uh, if you're the kind of woman who wants to experience more freedom, but is secretly stalking this man on Facebook and seeing like whenever he posts a picture with somebody else, you're like, oh, feeling that thing. Stop doing that shit to yourself. Why would you do that? <laughs> Create, it's like almost like get a life, <laughs> get a better life, get a more exciting life, connect with more people, uh, create a deeper level of passion with the things that you do and connect to the things that make you feel passionate and alive. But definitely cut away as much as possible from a circle, from his close friends, if they're not your close friends also. Sometimes that's difficult if the friends unite. But if you do have the same set of friends, make it a point and communicate to them, we're not gonna talk about him. Like that's not a subject conversation right now because I want to be free from this experience and I wanna be free to connect to more people and to connect to a new guy. And the more I keep pushing that new uh, pain into my wound, the deeper I get into pain. So I don't wanna do that anymore. So become clear and become set boundaries in that respect, not just with yourself, but with your friends. Number four is create more friendships with men. Create more alive, connected friendships because ultimately they want, the guy you wanna connect with in the future is gonna be not just your soulmate, but also your best friend. Now, if you're not at the stage where you want to connect to a new guy yet, create new friendships. Nobody's saying that you have to go from zero to 100 in 1.2 seconds. Leave that up to Ferraris, you know? So the way you actually create a better life and stop caring so much is create friendships that might lead to something, but don't have to. You feel free, relaxed, open, and you're creating, you're planting the seed for something more amazing to happen should both of you want to take it there. The last step is so challenging, but if you do nothing else, if you do one thing of the things that I'm recommending today, this is the one that's going to give you the biggest spiritual and emotional and even physical growth. And that's wish this man abundance. With all your heart, wish him the best. Instead of saying, fuck, I hope he doesn't connect to that woman who's so amazing. Say, I wish that he connects with the kind of woman who makes him feel fully alive. I wish for him to be absolutely happy, wealthy, alive. Why? Because the same thing you're wishing for him, you're bringing about into your life. You're creating the same set of freedom for you to attract the same thing into your life the more you actually wish him well. So that's hard, but it's absolutely possible. And the more you step into this kind of woman who is so free that can wish the man well, 
and for him to connect to an amazing woman instead of a bad woman, you know, the more you'll be free to experience the same in your own life. If you think this is helpful, insightful, powerful in some way, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, if you do nothing else of those two things, I want you to, on the link of this video, the description of this video, or on this button right here, there's an invitation for you to sign up to my free live webinar where I'm gonna guide you through to a three-step blueprint that will help you find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful stuff and it's free. If you have any questions for me, write a comment below on any of my videos and I'll either respond personally or I'll create a video just for you. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.